sketch version of an image is generally quick, done with little short lines, and gives you a general gist of what the image looks like. And often these are done as preparatory sketches for other more complicated paintings, but in many cases the sketch itself can be a work of art in itself. It all depends on what your aim is for the image. So a lot of times painters will go out to a scene and just sketch it quickly, just take five minutes to sketch out the scene so they get an idea of the shapes and the locations and so on. So an idea with sketching is to release your concerns about exact detail and so on. To be free and loose and to capture what the scene looks like. So I'm going to do a sketch and then I'm going to watercolor it in to add some extra color. And again, the color part is to give you a reminder of what the different colors were in case you want to paint it later or do something else with it later. So I'm going to start with watercolor paper again because I know that I'm going to be wanting to add watercolor water to my sketch. So we'll take off a piece of watercolor paper. We'll move this out of the way. Alright, so scene we are sketching is the round stone tower at the St. Joseph's Abbey in Spencer. So we'll do that. There we go. Alright, so you can sketch somewhere in person. So you could go out to the St. Joseph's Abbey, which is open to the public, and sit down in front of it with a notepad, and you could sketch it in real life. Or, if you want, I've got pictures on the web for you, and you could sketch based on those pictures. So sketching is fun whether you do it in real life or whether you do it based on a photo. Because the idea with the sketch is that you're creating your own unique, creative, a quick version of it. General sketches are intended to be quick and relaxed and give you a gist of the shapes and the colors. So let's see, we're going to sketch this. And I'll put it over here. Alright, I got a tower there. Alright, okay. The other side. With sketches, it's okay that lines are rough. That's part of the whole intention of it, that you're just doing this quick, relaxed. You're getting a gist of the shapes, where they're located. You can make adjustments as you go. And what if we wanted to do something different than the style we've been doing before? What if this was a tower at the beginning of a road and now there was a castle in the background, so let's draw the road in, so we get a sense of that. And now we'll draw in So I decided <laughs> to put in gatehouse and uh, walled city. So the idea with this is it's not that you're drawing anything in exactly detailed. Alright, so if this is a walled city, you wouldn't necessarily see everything. 
you just see the bigger things that were sticking up outside the wall. So what would there be that was bigger? It might be how about a church? So we'll put in a church steeple. Coming up over all the things. And then there'd probably be castle. Alright, how do I want to handle the castle? Uh, maybe I'll put it over here. Alright, so that's the main castle, I think. And we'll put the crenellations on top of this. Yeah, I'm just a fan of crenellations. Alright, so that's a sketch. Well, what do we want over here? We'll have open fields. This is where the farms and stuff are. That's the horizon. Would you really be able to see that far out to the horizon with just nothing at all? Uh, put some trees. Alright, a bit of forest over there. Well, that would There we go. So that's a sketch. We'll put some clouds in the sky. So that gives you a sense of the scene. Let's see, let me start adding more little details, little arrow slits. You want a moat? Ah, uh, let's give it a moat. Moat. So maybe we need a drawbridge. Chains. All right. Well, I think we got a number of different details in the sketch. So the idea with the sketch is that you're making a rough layout of the shape so that you're able to remember the general position of things and where the different objects were and what was interesting to you about the scene. So in terms of then adding watercolor, um, sketches are fine to stand alone as they are without color, but a benefit of then adding watercolor to the image is that you can also remember what some of the colors were. So let's say you were looking at this scene, or that you were looking at a scene at the Spencer Abbey. And you really liked how some of the colors glowed under the blue sky. Watercolors help you remember what the colors were in a way that could be more accurate than cameras, because cameras can auto-correct and do all these other things with the image, but with the watercolor, you put down what you remember the colors are, and that helps you with your vision of what you're going to end up doing with this. So let's say that it was autumn, and these fields were sort of yellowish, greenish, because of the autumn color. 
Hmm, the pen is running a little bit, which is a little odd. So we'll put a little bit of yellow, a little bit of yellow orange. Again, the aim when you're doing a sketch kind of thing like this is not necessarily to paint in every section, but to give yourself a general sense of what the colors were and what struck you as important. So it's a journal for yourself of what you really liked. Maybe you really liked the yellow of the colors in there. Maybe the castle over here was a blue-gray, the uh, stone tower. And you mix up for yourself whatever blue-gray seems to be what you thought. And you're just you're not worrying about making this perfect or anything. You're just making a quick sketch to remind yourself, oh yes, I like this blue color. I like the way that the light was shining over here. And sketches are often done just in five minutes or just in ten minutes. It's a nice quick little exercise and you can carry around a tiny little watercolor kit that just has like five colors in it. You know, red, blue, yellow, green, whatever your main colors are. And if you need something else then you mix together two of those things. You red, mix the red and blue to make purple or you mix the red and yellow to make orange, whatever you need. Alright, so now you got a blue to remind you what the blue was of the tower. Maybe the path up here was a brown dirt path. And you really like the brown against the yellow of the fields. Fill in the brown dirt path. Maybe you like the way that the drawbridge was a darker brown. Alright, and again this is just a sketch, so for the little city roofs, you can just put in some little browns. So the aim here with a sketch isn't necessarily to be precise, to be quick and give a gist of the scene. In general, I mean, your version could be whatever you want to be. People break rules in art all the time, and everything is open to interpretation. Alright, so we got the roofs. Do this building and this building. Alright, we got a moat. I'm going to use my favorite blue, which is why <laughs> it is nearly out. This is the moat around the castle walls. The keep walls, town walls, the walls themselves are probably gray color. Mixing together these random colors here, the blues and greens, end up making a nice gray. Being careful to leave a little space between these. Because you go quick with sketches, you're often painting things which are wet next to other things which are wet. And you want to try to keep them from all running into each other. Alright, so 
So let's make this a little darker. For the gatehouse. And you're digging rough and quick. You're just getting a sense of this. Crenellated bits. Alright, we got the gatehouse. I'll make this a little darker. Go for a door. Oh, little kitten, you are just non stop today. Little kitten, you really want to help. Now is not the time. I'm working on something quick, kitten. <laughs> I know you want to help. It is in your nature. You are a good kitten. Right. What else do we got? We'll do the door over here. Alright, we got a door. Uh, hopefully we want that castle. Maybe the castle's a little darker too. Alright, the castle a darker color. How about the church? I really got the church more of a greenish stone. Add a little bit of difference. Alright, we need some green for the trees. And we're not being precise here or accurate, we are just getting a sense of what's going on. Get some of the meadow colors. And the aim is not to be perfect or precise. Get every last detail. Or to fill in every last corner. It's just to give a gist of the scene. Alright, so we got yellow fields, we got green grass, we got the moat. Alright, so now we're just left with this guy. Alright, so we'll just put in some water. We'll paint this wet on wet. Again, the idea is to be quick, and casual, and relaxed. Alright, so we got the sky all wet. Going to go with the dashes of color.
just put me in the sky. Since we had painted this with water to start with, this color that I'm adding in is just sort of blossoming and going where it wants to go, which is good for this sky effect that we're going for. It might be uh, Luke saying that he's ready. I'm hearing some beeping noises. Or it could be Luke saying that he's not ready. <laughs> Okay, I think I have to add a little more to these trees. The trees got a little pale. Well, what should we do about the castle? The castle doesn't really give, or the, the stone tower up in front. The stone tower up in front doesn't really give a sense that it's got bricks. So often what you do, instead of drawing out every single little brick, you just put in a few to give a sense of what it is. Just to remind you that it's got that kind of texture. Instead of sitting there and painting the entire thing, we could do the same thing over here with the wall. So I'll figure out there's some bricks in the wall. Something like that. Alright, so here's the purpose of the sketch. Your sketch give you a quick view of the scene. Shouldn't take too long. You just sort of scribble out the lines with pen and that can be enough. Or if you want to add some colors, you remind yourself of what the colors were that you're interested in. Then you just add a few splashes of color in there to set the scene and then you are set. So this could be a preliminary sketch for a bigger work that you then go home and you work on something uh, larger or with more detail or so on, or it could be that the sketch is the end product, that you just enjoy sketching the scene and you enjoy that little brief memory of what you saw. So ask if you have any questions about sketching, and I hope that you find fun with your creativity.